different language communities have different culture and therefore they will have different idioms for most cases you cannot direct translate an idiom from one language into another language i still remember there is one time when i was in secondary school my friend wrote in his essay to throw salt into the sea to throw salt into the sea which portrays the definitions of useless effort and this is actually a malay idioms but he direct translate the idioms into english becoming to throw salt into the sea during that time i was thinking can you actually translate malay idioms into english idioms the answer is no you cannot direct translate an idiom from one language into another because as i mentioned before different language communities have different culture therefore they will have different idioms and another time my english speaker friends who studying malay language and indonesian language said to me that he kills two birds with one stone but he direct translate the idioms into malay language by saying saya bunuh dua ekor burung menggunakan satu batu saya bunuh dua ekor burung menggunakan satu batu in malay language we don't have an idiom that use the word to kill or bunuh so that sounds so terrifying i was like why do you want to kill the bird and that idiom is actually english idioms that is being translated into malay language so it sounds so so not correct and so wrong Therefore, in this video, I will share with you 10 Malay idioms that is equivalent to English idioms, but not in direct translate way. Let us start with the first idiom. The first idiom is between the devil and the deep blue sea, which means you have two options and both options are bad. The Malay idioms that is equivalent to this idiom is di telan mati emak, di luah mati bapa di telan mati emak di luah mati bapa which means to swallow mum die to expel dad die means you have something in your mouth and if you swallow it then your mum will die but if you expel uh, the things that uh, you hold in your mouth your dad will die so both options are bad but for english uh, idioms between the devil and the deep blue sea i think the options are not actually that bad because for devil they can fight devil we can fight devil and the deep blue sea i think you can go snorkeling idioms number two blood is thicker than water blood is thicker than water which means a strong family relationship in malay we have Air di cincang tak akan putus. Air di cincang tak akan putus, which literally means cutting water will never break it off. Cutting water will never break it off. Okay, air means water. Di cincang means to cut. Tak akan putus means will never break off. No matter how hard you try to break the water or to cut the water, the water will never break off but in electrochemistry we do have the process of electrolysis to separate oxygen gas and hydrogen gas number three we have kill two birds with one stone which means do two things in one time or to achieve two results with single effort the malay idioms that is equivalent to this idiom is sambil menyelam minum Air, sambil menyelam minum air which literally means drink water while diving drink water while diving eventually yes you will die what we're trying to portray from this idiom is that it is better for you to focus doing one thing rather than doing two things in one time which eventually results in something bad because if you drink water while you are diving you will get drowned and you will die but at least you don't kill a bird number four like father like son like father like son which means children with the same attitude as their parents 
children with the same attitudes as their parents. In Malay, we have more than one idioms that is equivalent to these idioms, but I will choose one only, which is Bapa kencing berdiri, anak kencing berlari. Bapa kencing berdiri, anak kencing berlari, which literally means father urinates while standing, son urinates while running, father urinates while standing. Sun urinates while running. For Muslim, it is a sunnah for us to urinate while sitting down and not standing. So when a father urinates while standing, he actually shows a bad example to his son and the son will follow and not just follow 100% but he follow even worse by urinates while running. So if the father urinates while standing, the son will follow and do even worse by urinates while running. Idioms number five, we have many hands make like work. Many hands make like work, which means teamwork make a work becomes easier to be done. In Malay, we have many idioms that is equivalent to this idiom. But for this lesson, I choose berat sama di pikul, ringan sama di jinjing, which means heavy stuff is bring together and light like stuff is carried together. No matter whether the task is easy or hard, if we do together, the job or the task will become easier. Number six, we have no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Which means a result is only achieved by giving effort. The Malay idioms that is equivalent to this idiom is Kalau tak dipecahkan ruyung, manakan dapat sagunya. Kalau tak dipecahkan ruyung, manakan dapat sagunya. Which literally means, if you don't break the hard skin layer of the palm tree, you will never get the inner part of the palm tree. Okay, ruyung means the hard skin layer of the palm tree and sagu means the inner part of the palm tree. In order for you to get the inner part of the palm tree, you have to break the hard skin layer of the palm tree. Number seven, we have East or West, home is the best. East or West, home is the best, which means home, our house, is the best place in the world. In Malay, the idioms that is equivalent to these idioms is hujan emas di negeri orang, hujan batu di negeri sendiri, lebih baik di negeri sendiri which literally means gold rain in other people's state or country and rock rain in your own state or your own country but your state or your country is always a better place for you to live in. Hujan emas di negeri orang, hujan batu di negeri sendiri, lebih baik di negeri sendiri. Number eight, we have the idiom of it takes two to tango. It takes two to tango which means both people or parties are involved in a situation. The Malay idiom that is equivalent to this idiom is bertepuk sebelah tangan tidak akan berbunyi. Bertepuk sebelah tangan tidak akan berbunyi which means clapping with one hand will not produce a sound. Clapping with one hand will not produce a sound so you will need both hands for you to actually produce a a sound. Except if you clap that hand onto a people face. It takes two to tango. Bertepuk sebelah tangan tidak akan berbunyi. Idioms number nine, we have paddle your own canoe. Paddle your own canoe, which means be independent. In Malay, we have berdiri di atas tapak kaki sendiri. Or in short, it is berdikari. That is literally translated as to stand on your own two feet. To stand on your own two feet. Paddle your own canoe. Bertiri di atas tapak kaki sendiri. And our last idiom will be when in Rome, do as the Romans do. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Which means to follow the custom of the people in that place. The Malay idiom which equivalent to when in Rome, do as 
to Romans 2 is masuk kandang kambing, mengembek, masuk kandang lembu, menguap. Masuk kandang kambing, mengembek, masuk kandang lembu, menguap. Which means when you enter a goat's shed, you bleed. When you enter a buffalo's shed, you moo. Kandang kambing means goat's shed. Mengembek means to bleed. Kandang kerbau means cow's shed. And menguak means to moo. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Masuk kandang kambing mengembek. Masuk kandang lembu menguak. That is all the 10 Malay idioms which equivalent to English idioms. If you know any other Malay idioms that is similar or equivalent to English idioms, kindly share in the comment section. On our next lesson, I will share with you 10 Malay words that have two different meanings when you use it in formal conversation or formal writing. And in the second case, when the words are used in informal conversation. If you love this video, kindly click on the like button, subscribe to this channel and share the link with your friends. With that, thank you for watching. See you next time. Terima kasih.